You already know me, all things sports and entertainment. So Jerron Boutinas was against, I'm going to mess this up, Jukazan. Uh, he had a hometown fight at 147 pounds welterweight IBF champion. Uh, drawn boot tennis and um let me let, let me say this you know salute to the, the zone and uh boots and eddie hearn eddie that's what anthony joshua always calls him but um i mean look the fight was uh you guys aren't came to fight honestly he came to fight he wasn't backing down from boots um boots took a lot of hits in there uh, about round five though he hurt boots hurt you guys on and he took a knee then he got back up, and it seemed like every time his and his, Boots' dad kept saying, "Man, you need to knock him out. You need to walk him down." But it seemed like every time he walk him down, Jukazan would uh, either grab Boots or Boots get to hitting him, and then if Boots throw some punches, Jukazan would get the counter. He was hitting Boots the whole time, and it looked like Boots was trying to turn him to to finish him off. But Jukazan he would grab him. Now the referee in the tenth round did get a uh, a point because he was holding so much. Jukazan was, but boots uh he's they was throwing leather but hey man boots was getting hit he was getting hit i didn't see a lot of jabbing and uh, apparently this isn't his first fight his second fight where he's been taking a lot of punishment now i'm still waiting on the official scores to come out but you is clearly he clearly lost the boots now uh let me say this about boots though because this is in your hometown and this is boxing and people don't like the sweet science you're going to have to finish your opponents off and um boots being run around calling out bud crawford talking about moving up to a uh even 160 to fight him but i'm like wait a minute before you do that you need to clear your division out you need to be the man in your division clear it out dominate move up to 154 start dominating and if bud hasn't retired at that point then you go for the fight you know and a lot of people still don't know who boots is a lot of people say you know he's the guy he's up next I like boots, but I mean, I have to see the best. I have, I, have to, I have to see him fight the best competition, and he's moved up. And Jukas, even though they fought before, he he didn't he didn't get stopped, you know. So this is this is going to make a lot of fighters say, "Oh, okay, well, boots is struggling against co top, top competition, tougher competition, should I say?" Now he did do a post fight uh, interview, and uh, he said that. First thing he first thing that came out of his mouth was, "Oh, I might have to move up with 154." But then he said he had a he pretty much was saying he had an off night. He wasn't listening to his father in the, in the corner, and that um, he feels like he will uh, if he got a tougher opponent or opponent that's more challenging, it will make him get up and get that spark. Which that's concerning to me because boots. If you want to be the best fighter, or, or if you want to get the top name guys, you need to knock the uh, less competition out because then that that builds. That builds up your name to where the box, the top fighters, they have to do it, you know. So he uh, he's hitting that. He said that he don't mind staying at 147 to unify, but he'll move. He but he has no problem with 154. Eddie Hearn also said that he said that he would like to see him fight Virgil Ortiz for an interim belt at 154 pounds, but he wants Boots to stay down there at 147 if possible. Him and uh, but he said it's up to really up to him and his uh, his father who's a, his trainer. And um, I did notice something too. The crowd started leaving a, a tad early in the 12th round, and by the time Boots interview it was time for his interview, nobody was in the crowd anymore really. So that's uh, uh, concerning to me. People would normally stay. At least, especially when you're the hometown guy, you know, and um, we know how Philly is about their sports. So now I'm wondering, will that affect him? You know what I'm saying? Affect his brand more? And uh, but the but the whole the Terrence Crawford thing, man, that's that's out of the question. Earl is out of the question at this moment. He did say that he would fight anybody at 154. Whoever wants to give him that shot. But I mean, you know, when you people love the sweet science, but when you don't finish fighters off, man, unless you like Floyd Mayweather who built the second half of his career off of just I got money you got to beat me a lot of fans don't like that you know so and, he, and even then you had people say that he was a boring fighter so you know boots you gotta boots got he has to finish off the tougher fighters but I just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think